a post that I wrote last year that got a lot of traffic was looking at the number of uh, days in, e in each year that had temperatures above 90 degrees. Now, for the most part, we just say, okay, you had 35 or, or 28, and, you know, and that, that's it. What, what I wanted to look at was not only how many days were in the 90s, but over what period. Like, uh, for instance, um, in 1991 and 1993, they both had uh, 39 days that were above 90 degrees, which is the most um, on record in New York. However, if you look at each year, one year, 1991, had them cap occurring uh, over a wider span. The first was like in April and the last was at the end of September, whereas 1993 was much more concentrated. So even though they had the same number, really 1993 was probably more uncomfortable because they, they were occurring much more often. And another analysis I did with a separate blog was um, even though 91 and 93 had the most days above 90, I've noticed, and this is also, this is very frustrating to a lot of you know, weather aficionados, it seems New York has a lot of days that have high temperatures of 89, and for whatever reason, 90 for a high or below 32 for a high, those are sort of like um, um, standard measures, and so hot is considered 90 or above, so you get these days above 80, that hit 89, it's very frustrating. What I did was I wanted to see how many days do we actually have that it is hits 89. And it turns out that um, it was uh, 19, no, it was just three years ago, 2010, actually had a dozen days that were at 89. So if you combine those, their eight, the days that were above 89 with it's not the 90 degree days, which I believe were 37, that year actually had the most days of 89 or above. It even passed, you know, 91 and 93. So. That was just a, another way of, of uh, looking at, at the data to come up with a, a different story.